Ireland, Patrick, Luck, Pride, Pubs, Festivities, Green, Colin Farrell, Pierce Brosnan, Brendan Gleeson, you can smell it in the air. St. Patrick's Day is coming soon, the day of luck and debauchery. Bring it on. I can't wait. But, before that, I want to share some of my methods of maximizing luck with the powers of philosophy. According to Siddhartha Gautama, the founder of Buddhism, suffering comes from desire. This can be seen in the psychological phenomenon known as the hedonic treadmill a process in which people have a baseline happiness, regardless of negative or positive events. For example, imagine if Lulu wanted to have one ball. If Lulu received one ball, she may experience a short burst of happiness. But, eventually, she'll become accustomed to having that one ball, and her happiness will decrease, until she returns to a normal state. Because Lulu wants to be happy, she will desire an even greater amount of balls. This phenomenon explains why even when people get the things they desire, they find they are not satisfied. I speed run, the hedonic treadmill. I am a hedonic treadmill champion. Fortunately, there is a method to break out of this cycle. It's called, negative visualization. Imagine your life as it is now. Think of something that is important in your life. It can be your home, a friend, or your career. Now, imagine a situation where, that important part of your life, is gone. What would have happened? How do you feel? Try to picture it in detail. Now, come back to your normal life where all the important things are still here. Don't you feel lucky? Negative visualization gives us perspective, and reminds us, that we can want what we already have, and as always, I wish you the best.